Okay, so let's look at the basic hemodialysis circuitry. This is our hemodialysis machine. This is the hemodialysis filter, also called the dialyzer, and this is the blood pump. Undialyzed blood, denoted by dark red, leaves the body via the arterial needle and enters the dialyzer at the arterial end. Dialyzed blood, denoted by bright red, leaves the dialyzer at the venous end and enters the body via the venous needle, which is placed proximal to the arterial needle in the patient's arm. The rotation of the blood pump creates a negative pressure in the pre-pump arterial tubing, which helps pull the blood via the arterial needle, and a positive pressure in the post-pump tubing, which helps to push blood into the dialyzer and back into the body via the venous needle. These are the dialysate solutions A and B. Solution A contains the acid component and electrolytes, and solution B contains the base component, which is typically bicarbonate with modern-day dialysis. Acid and base components of the dialysate solution are proportioned and mixed with treated water inside of the dialysis machine to form the final dialysate. Dialysate enters the dialyzer close to the venous end, that is, at the opposite end of blood entry. The used dialysate, or the effluent, exits and is eventually discarded.